Hello. Today we're going to talk about remote monitoring of temperature over the internet using an, uh, an IGPIO website interface. The uh, approach works like this. There is an IGPIO server that work, talks through the internet and is communicated with either through a browser on a PC, tablet, or smartphone, and a remote device that also may have, for example, in this example at least, a temperature sensor. It works the following way. Uh, the device, which in this example is a Raspberry Pi, uh, which uh, uh, connected to a temperature sensor, reads uh, the temperature and updates that value to the IGPIO server at regular intervals. A user um, can view the data from a web browser on a PC, tablet, or smartphone via the internet um, and also can set a desired temperature range. And when the temperature range go, when the current temperature goes out of the preset range, a warning message will be sent to a user via email or a phone SMS. For this example, you'll need the following parts. A Raspberry Pi Model B uh, with internet access could be either wired or wireless, an MCP9808 temperature sensor, and some jumper wires and a breadboard. This is the setup. Um, there's only four connections and power ground and the Raspberry Pi SCL and SDA uh, connected to the temperature sensors, the term terminals. So to build the model, you would do the following five steps. You would register for a free account at IGPIO. You would set up the device general pa parameters at the website and as the device detail parameters as well. You would build a temperature monitor and you would start it and run it. So for the first account, you would register at IGPIO.net for a free account. You can do that with a free registration button, fill out the registration form and submit, and you would receive a message from the IGPIO website and you would click on the link in the email to activate the account. And this is all there is to registration. Now, the next step would be to set up your device general parameters. Uh, after activating your account, you would click on the device manager button and set the following two parameters. A name, which in this case we're gonna, let's get called temp monitor, for this example, and alert delay, which you would set to 600, which is the time in seconds before the uh, IGPIO system would send an email warning to you if your device has not updated the temperature at the expected update interval setting. You check on the enable box and click on update. And you'd see something like this. This is the uh, general parameters for the device number one. And as you can see on the right, far right, uh, there's an NA showing, but in the real when you do this example for yourself, that actually will be a clickable link. And if you clicked on it, you would actually open up uh, the device specific parameters, which we'll talk about next. So on this page, on this slide, we see that the, we have to set up several detailed parameters for that particular device. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use only channel two, and we're gonna set several parameters. In the first one, we're gonna make a label called room, uh, in parenthesis C, this is the room temperature in degree C. We're not gonna enter any any data in the, in the value uh, column because that data actually will come from the Raspberry Pi. Um, value two and value three in this example, we're gonna set to 19 and 22 respectively. This is the temperature range that we want to be notified of if the temperature actually goes outside of that range. And the flag setting to zero allows the Raspberry Pi to actually update the value, the temperature value. Check the enable box and click on update, and you will complete that, uh, those settings. And this is what it will look like uh, when you do that. As you can see, the column marked value uh, has zeros in it, which is just be uh, sem sem essentially meaning that the Raspberry has not yet updated the values at this moment. Of course, we haven't uh, built the Raspberry monitor yet, so that's obvious. Now we're going to actually build it. I'm not going to go into any of the details here, but you can click on the adafruit.com link or you can visit the IGPIO website for the same link um, and you will be able to get the instructions for actually constructing this uh, temperature monitor. It's, it's, it's relatively straightforward. You'll then connect the Raspberry Pi 
Uh, well, you'll turn it on. You'll connect it to the internet, wired or wireless. You can download the Python code required uh, for this example from the IGPIO website, uh, and you can save it into your home slash pi directory. You will want to then add a cron job, which essentially is scheduling the program to be run, in this case, every five minutes. You would hit, you would uh, type cron tab hyphen E, and you would add the following, that, that line shown here, which is star slash five, which will essentially run every five minutes uh, on the five minute time step, uh, this, the, the program that you've downloaded. You save the changes and exit cron tab and your program should then be running. In, in this example, the device will be updating the temperature, the remote temperature, every five minutes. You can monitor the temperature from anywhere you have access to the internet um, on your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Uh, when the temperature that's monitored goes out of the preset range, and you can change that range, of course, anywhere in the from anywhere in the world, uh, you will get an email or SMS text message um, in addition, if the device is not updating for some reason, for example, someone pulled the power plug or it broke or something like that, you'll be told that your device is not updating by the IGPIO server. And if it does come back to work, the IGPIO server will notify you via email or SMS. Um, for using SMS, you can enter a secondary email address uh, for your particular mobile provider. In case, for example, of Verizon, it's uh, their mobile number at vtex.com. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed watching this show.